Hello, welcome. This is going to be 10S, another game by the same author as Long Live the Axe. Uh, don't really have a mission statement for this one, I'm just gonna try it out and see what happens. I've played like a minute of this, uh, but I don't know much about it. I am just want to see what else this particular author is gonna cook up here. So, uh, go to world, I can choose, most of them are locked, whoa, okay. Enemy waves. I can configure that. Difficulty goes from easy to evil. I'm real tempted to put it on hard. You know what? Let's have some fun. Fair is the default. I'm gonna go with hard. Uh, see how it goes. Maybe that's a mistake. I can skip to part two. I checked my settings. They look like that. Oh, I can change the colors. Oh dear. I okay. Well, I'm I, I'm good. Uh, can I go back? Oh dear. Okay, I'm changing them. Uh, is that the button? No. Is that the button? No. Oh, shoot. I... Well... Okay. Here's our color palette. Now, how do I get out of here? <laughs> Every button I press is just randomizing again. Okay, there we go. I found it. Uh... Okay. What a great start. Alright, that's... I don't like this color palette anymore. Uh, no. That one's fine. Alright. <laughs> sure. This is what's happening. <laughs> Perfect start. Let's, uh, play. Okay. Some things. It's in 3D. Alright. 10S. You get it yet? <laughs> uh... Yeah, okay. So, got two hearts now. I can, I can jump, I can move, I can, oh, do that. Alright. Uh... I can swing, but I don't understand. I was shooting those back. All right, so I press this button. I get a ball. There we go. Oh, I lost the ball. Okay, I see. So this seems to be how I attack. I don't know what that was. Okay, so I have a ball meter in the upper right that determines when I can do that. Yeah, okay, um... I remember the, like, minute of this that I played before was significantly less hard than this, so I may have made a mistake in choosing my difficulty, but you know what? Again, let's have some fun with it. Alright, I kind of see how this works. Oh boy, yeah, this is, uh... That's quite a few bullets. I guess I should have been jumping. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Since it took me back here, let's just choose the default. Alright, Enemy Waves 5, it said. That is a significant difference. Wow! Look at how different that is. Only two dudes and they're that slow. Man, I don't know. I want something in between, it feels like. But I guess I'm here on this now. Alright, so this is almost like kind of breakout-esque. Alright, the projectiles are coming. This is fine. I missed the ball. Is that like a combo meter down in the lower uh, left? Okay. I guess I get a, an upgrade. A shovel or a heart. Tension spice increases orb velocity. Sounds nice. Plus one health. Sounds nice. Heavy shirt. No knockback when taking damage. Eh. Let's go with orb velocity. I want this one. There we go. Can I serve these back at you? No, I can just eliminate them. Alright, so I bring my own ball. And I swing it at you. But I have to wait for the ball meter in the upper right to recharge. To swing it again. I've played tennis like twice in my life ever. <laughs> you can probably tell how good I was at it. Uh, horse powder. Increase walk speed. That sounds great. Itching sigil. Or storage charge speed. Yeah, that's nice. I'm going to take the walk speed. Oh yeah, there we go. Alright, so I can jump. And if I jump again when I'm jumping, I do that. So I guess that's if I want to... Let me try and do a, like a fancy shot. It didn't work. That doesn't seem particularly usable. I say after failing it once. I don't know. It feels just a lot more practical to stay on the ground and do it this way. Yeah, okay. So I'm now realizing how breakout-ish this is. I'm cool with that. Like, if I, I can press left or right when I'm swinging my rackets to control, like, make that happen. 
That's a lot of bullets. Wow, okay, you know what? I'm cool with this difficulty now. Plus one health, maybe I'll take that. Plus one orb storage, that actually sounds great. Vacation sauce. Let's take the orb vessel. Like the other game, like I clearly demonstrated today, I have no idea how long this is. Can I get some, like, height on this thing? How, would I, how do I do that? That got rid of it. Okay, well, whatever. I have orb storage. So I'll just keep swinging it until it hits you. What happens if I try to go forward? That's a wall. Okay, I cannot. This should hit. It didn't. My aim was way off. Okay. There we go. That'll do. Music stopped. That might have been five. Explosion size. There are explosions. I'll take the health. Loss prevention. Alright, so this is boss fight essentially, maybe? Oh boy. So it's like... Bullet Hell Breakouts. What a combination. Yeah, so Long Live the Axe fundamentally was mostly a traditional game under all the layers of weird. This one, I think, is too. It's it's Bullet Hell Breakouts. Sure, that's reasonable. I played Arkanoid. It was like this. Definitely lost some velocity there, but it was still coming back to me. It's a very bouncy ball. Go away, raccoon, or whatever you are. Yeah, okay, you shoot a lot when you get... Uh, so there's no air control, by the way. Uh, there's that. That's the only air control it gets. Sort of a double jump swing combo thing. Loss prevention. I guess that's your health bar down at the bottom, that entire thing. So let me see if I can... <sighs> Okay, that's the explosion. Okay, got it. So I can throw a bomb like that and do a lot of damage. It does require me to uh, recharge my orb storage, sure. So just regular hits, sir. Maybe a little quicker sometimes. Can I serve two at once? I wonder. I can! Oh, cool. All right, multi-ball. I guess I was supposed to jump to hit that. Got a hit. What's that bar on the left? I don't know. It's not the health of the boss. Move on. All right. There was a skip to part two button on the menu. Keep moving. One, two. Okay, that's text. I see. And it says one, two. All right. So I'm in stage two. Got it. Stage one, two. I have a vague impression that the second part of this game might be a major formula change, so it may not be this the whole way through, but I, I don't know if I'm... <laughs> I don't even know if that memory is from this game or from something else. Don't even know if it's a real memory. I may have made it up, but... Don't necessarily expect exactly this for the rest of the game. I don't expect anything. I have no expectations. I'm just going in and playing and seeing what happens. It's fun though. I like the uh, I like the structure of this certainly. All right, you weird cat dinosaur thing, whatever you are, you're done. Tension spice, or velocity, heart knot, loaded dice, deflect chance. I don't know what that is. Let's take this. Or it moves fast. I might not want too many of those because then it just become real hard to hit. Let's use a bomb. These are close together. Okay, so, uh, uh, uh. Is there a difference between shot types? Probably. So, uh, see, like, trying to do this, that one maybe can't be blocked? I don't know. Why are there squares and both filled and unfilled circles? I don't have an answer to that. This is being surprisingly dangerous. Ouch. Yeah, dude, that's, that's really something. So I'm dead. I died toward the beginning of 1-2. Go to world 1-2. It defaults me there. Did I lose all my upgrades? 
I think I may have. Yeah, because I have only orb storage one. All right, so that is something. So don't play around with the projectiles. It's dangerous, and I may lose a lot of stuff. That's fine. I'm cool with starting here with nothing. All the stuff I had accumulated wasn't making a huge difference. It was making some. My racket's very small. So it does just seem like a better idea to just dodge things, mostly. Okay. I'm gonna abandon that ball, I think, mostly. This is... yeah, okay, that didn't go well. Maybe my upgrades were making more of a difference than I thought. Alright. It's randomized. Not the same dudes each time. That's a hand. I just got to know a bunch of hands that were asking for my praise. Okay. Uh. I didn't get it. Huh? Sure. It doesn't seem like the angle I hit it from has much effect on its uh, its trajectory. It's only whether I, like, steer left or right that does. But, you know, if I hit it here or if I hit it... Okay. From farther left. Doesn't seem to make a difference. All right, you. Go away, please. Yikes. A dangerous creature. Ouch. All right, that was... Ill-advised. Huh. Everything gets so dangerous! And again, there's there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of commitment to the movement here. Like, once I start swinging, I can't change where I'm moving. Once I start jumping, I can't change it. It's just what I'm gonna get. <sighs> I should probably take the heart knot, really. Alright. Yeah, so it's not like there's a health maximum, so I don't think I'm ever going to refill those. It's just, when I get to a shop, I can add one heart. Current health is the only health. No refills. So yeah, it'd be to my advantage, sort of, to, um... to play from the start and gather a bunch of upgrades, but I don't want to do that now. I'm here now. So I'm just going forward with what I have. Whoa. <laughs> okay, music. Uh, I missed everything. No, that's not gonna work. Stop shooting. Dude. Uh. <laughs> Imagine if I'd left this on hard. Oh, ouch. Yeah, I was pretty quickly talked out of that. Okay, what do I get? I think it's always heart in the center. I'd like this. Uh, uh, how much does it increase it? I don't know, something. Yeah, this is nice. Breakout effect. Ball's gonna come back to me eventually. Ah! Uh, I sure don't get a lot of volleys going. Maybe that thing in the lower left is a combo meter. That's probably what it is. I just have way too much dodging to do to really get that built up. Okay, your health is low. You're shooting way too much. Ah, I missed. Nice. Ah, I missed. Okay. Keeping that combo going. Ah. Uh. Great. Great. Okay. I'm alive. Walk speed would be nice. Yeah, walk speed would be nice. I'm gambling on being able to maintain my health. But that's fine. A heart would only give me just one hit of padding. Just take it slow and be careful. No time limit as far as I can tell. Ugh! It's nice that I can hit some of the projectiles. Like, it's basically... Oh, shoot. That's good for if there's one there when I happen to be swinging. So yeah, I'm back at the start of 1-2. That is unfortunate. I don't even know how many waves in I was. Alright, that's fine. I guess I'll just do this again. 
Let me keep count this time. And maybe, like, preserve my hearts a little better. Uh, I can't preserve my balls any better because... Uh, I just... This, this situation calls for shooting it and then get it, getting out of there. This is kind of a fascinating dynamic here, though. Like, having to come back to my my shot if I want another one anytime soon. It's like a shooter with just one shot. Uh. <laughs> this is like the least interesting way to get this done, but it's safe. Kinda. No, it's not. It's safer than what I was trying before, at least. There we go. There we go. Okay. Full health. Deflect chance. I want orb storage. I was hoping I'd get both there, but I'll just take this, the one. Okay, so I had a little plus one down there by the combo meter. I wonder if that does more damage or what? Okay, so right, I can multi-ball. If I want to. Feels like that would rarely be realistically beneficial. <sighs> but I'll keep it in mind. Uh, I need more move speed or something. I'm at least doing better at not taking damage. And if that goes well enough, as long as I'm getting a hit every once in a while, this would be fine. Okay. That wave's clear. This is going much better. Feeling perfectly comfortable at not taking the health when I still have three. Okay, so how was that? I... Uh, to explode? Shoot. I... Uh, it cost me everything. Yeah, so exploding p makes me very vulnerable because I have to... Uh, I have to stay still for longer for it to happen. That should hit you, it did. Okay, great. Cool stuff! Ah, oh, that's not cool though. Okay, I'm gonna have to take the heart next time. This is stressful. Because I have to cross over the stream of projectiles to get to where I need to be. It's just... Uh, every time I'm in danger of just dying. I, I All I can do is that. Okay. I'm fine. If I just didn't have such high commitment movement, if I knew when I pressed a direction I would actually go that way, it would help a lot. Ah, oh, that, that makes me fall on the ground and lose control for even longer. Yeah, this is all about loss of control. That's what I'm experiencing. Okay. Gonna have to take the heart. Other options are walk speed, which would be great. Deflect chance, whatever. I took the heart. Uh. Uh. Okay, that's gonna hit. Great. That's gonna hit. Great. Good stuff. I would love to get a good combo going, it's just, that's, it's just too dangerous. See? Dangerous like that. That was a bad idea. How hurt are you? Not that hurt. Yeah, move! Okay, great. Can I get out of here, please? Okay. I guess... Oh. This is a good time to... if I could do a serve like this. Yeah, okay, that's safer. Velocity, velocity, health. Okay, Warden of the Courts. What was the first one's name? It was also like a, a legal thing, wasn't it? Hold on, of the Courts. Warden of the Tennis Courts? <laughs> hmm. Alright, this is going fine so far. Just mostly focused on dodging. I'll get in a hit when it feels like I safely can. Alright. 
whatever. Whatever. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah, I couldn't... Couldn't parse those quick enough to get out of there. I'm in trouble. Ah! Ah! I'm alive! <laughs> Barely. <laughs> ah! I don't play a lot of bullet health games, in case you couldn't tell. I've played a few, but not a lot. Oh. Uh. This is making me super uncomfortable. But in a good way. It's fun discomforts. Uh. At least I have a jump. That helps. I don't just have to actually walk around all of these. Uh. Uh. No! Alright, well I got to the boss. That's where I was. Let's try again. Okay, boss time. Things went a lot better. Turns out that when I can be quiet and concentrate, I can learn a lot about how this works. So that, that little dive seems to destroy projectiles in my area while I'm on the ground, so it doesn't make me as vulnerable as I thought. Also, let's see, so if, I, if I'm in the air and I, I launch the ball straight ahead, uh, it'll always explode when it comes back. Okay, this is nice. It's just doing some good stuff up there. It's lost, like, almost all of its forward-back velocity. I'm just letting the ball chaos do things. I should serve another. Because I don't know if that one's ever coming back. Okay. Oh, I won somehow. What? <laughs> well, I just somehow jammed a ball in there and it just kept bouncing around, causing all the chaos. That's cool, I guess. All right. So I guess the uh, I'm finished would just take me back to the menu, but let's keep moving. So I'll keep my upgrades for 2-1, okay. Different place. Let's see how this goes. There's a tree on my, s wait, okay, there's like reflections here. Is this solid in some way? I, I don't, I'm not currently taking damage from these. But then I do when they're... Oh, they shoot when they take damage. That's fascinating. Okay, so that creates danger in my area. So we've got a chair and a pot there that have to be taken care of. Wow, this is weird. And it's not a mirror image. It's a uh, just a repeating the image with the same orientation. All right. Yeah, so be very aware of when a hit is going to actually go off. It creates a lot of danger in my area. All right. So the flash powder turns out to be quite significant. Check this out. Big boom. Does lots of damage. I died. But yeah, flash powder is real nice. Okay. So I was getting to know that. Let's try again. And now I have no upgrades, but I'll have more health again, I guess. So yeah, just regular boom. Eh, that looks kind of big too. Maybe it's not as significant as I thought. Yeah, you know what? That seems great. Let's keep using that. Wait, the explosion doesn't cause the... Oh, the explosion doesn't cause the... No, that time it caused that to shoot. But there were times when it didn't. Maybe I got a direct hit. That's a refrigerator. <laughs> Maybe I got a direct hit. And the explosion went off. But if it's just caught in the blast radius, then it doesn't. That was a direct hit, and it did hit me. I think I want this one. Itching Sigil. Alright, so I'm gonna go very much off to the side here. That didn't explode. Okay, yeah, so if I just get it in the blast radius, I'm safe, maybe. That's what it seems like. I'm just gonna do this the most boring way. Pick a spot where I can safely do that. That didn't do much to you. Maybe I wasn't close enough. Oh, or maybe you don't take explosion damage. Okay, this is guarded against. Fair enough. Hopping tree, or whatever you are. You are hard to hit. Explosion got you. Okay, so those, those have shadows. They're way up in the air now. Well, because the thing's hopping, of course. 
wish I could hit this thing. It's just, like, really not happening. Okay, I hit that. I wish I could hit it, but at the same time, I also don't want to, because that means danger comes my way. Ooh. Just do this and get away. This is a stressful game to play, as it turns out. And yeah, on the ground, I'm just, like, never hitting this thing. Explosion didn't either. How do I nail you? Uh, there. I'll take orb storage, sure. So we got a TV, a refrigerator, a lamp. So we're in like the living room world, I guess. Yeah, everybody has a refrigerator in their living room. <laughs> so household objects. Clay pot. Yeah, it doesn't bounce on my side, only on the back. Ah. Go away, bullets. Cannot hit this thing. There. Ah! Alright. This feels like an explosion situation. Okay, so clay pot. It's kind of explosion proof. This time the refrigerator isn't. Maybe I just wasn't close enough. No, nothing explosion proof. Okay. Yeah, my aim must have just been bad before. I could believe it. Yeah, this is... This seems like the safe way to go. Storage charge speed, yeah, that's nice, but I'm taking the health. Chair. Okay, okay, right, so accidentally getting the- Ah! Orb stuck in there. It's very dangerous, so I'd be dead without having taken that health. I'm probably gonna be dead anyway. Yeah, so this is a game where health is extremely precious. You get up to one refill after clearing a- a wave. And that's only if you don't take another upgrade. Okay. The music ended. Is that telling me boss is coming? Loss prevention. Okay, loss prevention was not so much a court thing, but uh, you know. Sort of a legal thing. Sort of. Just gonna set off some chaos in there and stand back away from it. That's about the best I feel like I can do. Let loose the chaos, get out of the blast radius. There is no such thing. Blast radius goes as far as I can walk. Oh boy. So I wonder if things are just gonna have their mirror images on my side forever. Like if just Beyond World 1, that's that's just how things work. Could be. Alright, loss prevention's not too bad to fight. This seems fine. I think I bought a heart on the way in here, bringing me to two, and I haven't taken a d damage during this fight yet. That sounds right. I feel like you just hop left and right predictably. No, no you don't. You choose one or the other, but the interval is predictable. Ah, but the distance is not. Okay, so. Can't really predict where you're going to be. That's what I'm learning. That's fine. Is it? It's a little annoying. <laughs> this goofy music. Ah, oh, that'll get you. That should, it did. That won't, maybe this can. It could have, but it didn't. Uh. So I only get combo points when I actually hit something on the other side, not just for doing volleys back and forth. So I'm gaining nothing from this. 
Gotcha. And you're dead. Nice. Okay. Well, I did 2-1. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> um, so tell me something. I'm finished for now. Okay, so there's 1-1, one, 1-2, one, one, two, two, one, two, two. Locked and locked without waves. And there is a part two, so there may, again, be a possible major format change. All right, cool. This is really something. <laughs> a weird experience, but can be understood with traditional game metaphors, I guess. All right, I'll see you next time to try for 2-2, I guess.